Uh, they were at uh, one stage, 2 for 108. Bold him. Arafat Sunny has got the breakthrough. Only two wickets in six matches so far, but this is a vital breakthrough. Very straight. And Timber. A lovely piece of delivery. He nearly picked a, a wicket in the previous delivery, but that one just came back and whoa, held its line and went on to hit the middle stump. He enjoys it. One of the reasons why he said that this is important to have your best bowler coming in. Big pressure built up. Well bowled. Finally got himself a single. That's more like it, but he hasn't connected. And that's wicket number two. Jacob Oram it is. The crowd goes delirious. What a magnificent crowd and they're getting their money's worth. Their team is playing fabulously well at the top. Yeah, it was the pressure. They played too many dot deliveries and Ravi Bupara was underneath it. Very, very easily. Soft dismissal in the end. Big wicket. And Amalak Bijoy gone for one. That's in the air as well. And that's gone too. They're falling apart at the seams. Right at the top. Straight into the hands of Arafat Sunny. So this is a huge blow. Over Shah. Also walking back. Jacob Oram with two wickets in the over. Moves to the off stump, flicks it. The shot was on, but he found the lone fielder in the deep. Disaster. What an over by Jacob Oram. The innings and it's come in the sixth over. This has been high drama at the start. Really fantastic performance by Chittagong in the first five. Oh, that was pretty close. The player away, chance of it all out here and he's gone. Oh my goodness gracious, what is going on? Darren Steven backing away, playing it straight to that fielder and he had no response from the other end. Ashraful was going nowhere. But the ball Though he hit it into the gap, bounced well into the fielder's hands. All he had to do was to get rid of it. It was a tight call, but Ashraful needed to be responding straight away. He can't believe it. Stay away from Stevens tonight. That innings, and now falling apart. Down the wicket, up and under, but there's a fielder there. Is he going to get to it? No, it's just going to go over his head. Good hit, Ashraful. Inside out, playing with the turn. He can play shots like this. That's why I'm a bit surprised why he's left it so late. Oh, that's chopped it on. Oh, my goodness gracious. Quite unnecessary. That ball kept low. And he was just backing away, playing away from his body. Inside egg and timber. Unbelievable scenes here in Chittagong. Shomusaka. Ball not bouncing as he expected, playing too early. And we have seen 12 wickets in the last 12 overs. Right. The need to lessen the margin of defeat. But that's uh, not the intention. Short sure, there's high up in there. There's a fielder coming underneath that one. And he's going to get it. Another one bites the dust. Naeem Islam takes the juiciest of catches. And another strike for the Chiragong Kings. It's Loko Arachi. He needed to make a move. He's decided that he's going to try and give it a go. That goes without contributing too much. He's made the two runs. It's 30 for 6 and we'll have the strategic timeout. Oh, that's a good hit. That's going to go for 4 as well. Well, he's uh, put uh, bat to the ball and has uh, picked up two very good shots. And both of them have gone to the boundary. That is a hit very well indeed.
And that six overs that you're talking about took the life out of Dhaka. Real impact production for Channel 9. In the air and that's his off dismissal. Uh, these are great uh, scenes for Chittagong. It's tossed one up. A bit of a turn. And an easy catch hit straight to the fielder at cover. Mahmudullah Riyadh gets it. Soft dismissal in the end. Farmer's gone for 12. Dhaka. They bowled extremely well. Ashraful, uh, 24 of 36 deliveries. Still there. But it's been a, a spin and seam that has done the trick for Chittagong Kings. Still can't find boundaries. They should have been finding the boundaries very early in their innings. Those first six overs when that ball is hard. It will give them the momentum, the confidence which they needed. They are somewhere down the ladder and they will be having six points there. Gladiators who are at the verge of their second defeat and there may be a trap and added pressure that you are a good team. You need to end the points table with a top position that will be facing each other and the Stittagong King crowd is delighted in their own way. Celebrations. It's time to party, Chittagong. The flares are going off. Well, the Dakar dancers, the girls, didn't know much about cricket. Performance. And gaining the confidence. This time, Ashraful decided enough is enough. This one is coming down and ultimately into the hands of the fielder. Naim Islam taking the cake, much to the delight of the crowd, finally departs Ashraful. Fantastic catch. That's an amazing one because it was in the sky. It was up in the sky for quite a while. He was running back, seemed to have lost it, turning in the same spot and then suddenly he found himself under the ball. Ashraful. Finally, a boundary. So now. Well, they're getting closer. Good hit. Waited a long while for that one. Wasn't that a relief to see one go into the crowd? Second six of the innings for the Gladiators. He goes again. But he won't get that four. So Dhaka Gladiators can stick their name at the lowest score in BPL history. 88, miss out by one run. But they lose the match by 54 to the Ch Chittagong Kings. Yep, they'll have to take their time. The crowd have been fantastic. They've hung in there and come in their numbers. Though this team disappointed at the beginning of the tournament haven't lost hope they've cheered them all the way not only have they cheered the Chittagong Kings they've been out here cheering the BPL on it's been magnificent atmosphere here in the Chittagong Stadium they do deserve the applause they're getting from the players and that's where the problems happened at the top Cobb, Ashraful, Shah all de departed early not Ashraful, Enamal but Ashraful 33 of 48 too slow he didn't play his natural game sent that required rate up and put the pressure on the rest of the Dhaka Gladiators batting. They were in tatters straight away and there was no convincing and prominent partnership as well. Dhaka Gladiators who were known for their batting just kept on stumbling like anything and credit goes to Oram, Sunny, Inamul. They all started well with brilliant economy rates which was the need of the hour. Robel also chipped in with one wicket, Mahmudullah Cooper and Hussain's economy rate was also not bad either. And in the end, Chalagong King's bowling was so good so that they can snug home. Chittagong Kings, they look like they'll get a lot more than that after being asked to bat first. Ended up with 142, proved far too much for the strong gladiators batting order. 88 for 8, Oram Sunny Animal standing out, but 
it's fair to say they were not really tested by this Dhaka Gladiators batting order. Chittagong Kings then win by 54 runs. And now this will surprise everyone. They let Royals breaking free from the rest. Dakar Gladiators. Somewhat there with a little bit of pressure on them. This will dent their confidence. But look who's third. Chittagong Kings. They made their way up there. But when you look at the points that all these teams have accumulated, it's going to be tight. And the race, those qualifying positions are well and truly on. There's no one out of the tournament as yet. 